about Allah. And uh, it is a three switch converter and it has a 48 volt input and it has a 2.78 volt output. And if you look at uh, the three waveforms here, and as I, as I now learn how to use this guy, now I can draw on it, right? So you have this current, say, this current and this current are splitting this way. So the yellow waveform is a diode current, and the diode current is a sum of the red current, which happens to be AC because it's on this side, and uh, and this is like a two transformer in one. It operates as a square as a voltage-driven step-down converter uh, from two turns to one step down, but it operates as a one to two step up in terms of a current magnification, like a current amplifier, current uh, transformer. So here you have a red waveform, and you can see that blue waveform is actually the same sine wave, but it's uh, twice the magnitude. So there's a sine wave with a zero level red, but there is a blue sine wave with a uh, magnitude twice as an input, but it has a DC level, and DC level is, this was, remember, 15 amps DC current. But if you set, add these two current together, then that's a diode current, and it's a uh, diode current now starts at zero and end up at zero, no matter what operating conditions you have, okay? And that is the reason, and you, you saw when I showed it in a, in, uh, which you have in your flashcard uh, presentation, that basically uh, now the output, this current here is I plus I sine omega T. And this current here is uh, I sine omega t, and then this this is sinusoidal current, red, and this one here is a superimposition of DC load current and sinusoidal current, such that its peak current is uh, 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 here. So basically, this is the reason because the same the same sinusoidal current ripple is the same as a DC load, and in fact, DC load current extracts from resonance sinusoidal current, which is exactly proportional to the DC current that is uh, uh, driving at the moment. So that's why it has a single cycle transient response. Now, what I want to do now is uh, change the things to, so we talked about hybrid switching, we talked about new method, hybrid switching method, only one resonance, and contained inside just that single off time period. And then you have, now we can talk to, we talked about this transient response method, and now we are going to talk about storage led switching and uh, what I call a resonance scaling method. So let's see what those two are. So let's.